Hi and welcome. Today we're going to review the MailChimp to NetSuite Sync app. So if we go over to Kazumi and type in the word MailChimp, uh, there's a couple of different service pages on the Kazumi site, but let's go down to the one that deals with MailChimp and NetSuite. So you can see here MailChimp NetSuite. Let's go ahead and click there. And this is the page, kind of briefly goes over some of the major features. You get two weeks free, uh, what the starting point of the price is on this, and how it does marketing automation essentially uh, in a setup that's under five minutes. If you want to see what others are talking about on our community, you can see that on the right. Just drill down and see some of the NetSuite to MailChimp discussion going on. Uh, so some of the top uh, major features for the uh, professional plan and above are contacts, customers, and leads. Uh, field mapping, marketing metrics back in a NetSuite, and these are all done inside of a sync profile. That's what I'm pulling up here. shows you what that means um, in sync apps, which is essentially just two applications, all the field mapping, scheduling around that uh, profile. So let's go ahead and open up and create a NetSuite to MailChimp sync app. So in here, I can name it whatever I want. So in the application, there's only four steps in the free trial. I'll show you a fifth one, which is scheduling. But if you get stuck at any point, just scroll over our guides, which are the sync notes there. Anything that you might know or want to know uh, in sync apps is covered in those sync notes. So here we have NetSuite uh, to MailChimp set up. So on the NetSuite screen, all you have to do is make sure you're the admin or at least admin credentials, put in your username, password, and account. And then you can use a sandbox, of course, but you can use save searches as a test, put some contacts or customers in it, and that will, upon syncing, automatically create a MailChimp group underneath, underneath the list that you name. So you could add up to multiple save searches uh, in this sync profile here, which will start to create groups in MailChimp and add to the segmentation that you uh, want to create over there to segment your email marketing. And of course, we have other sync points in here, so you can review those, see if they're applicable to your business, and then select them. Now, coming back from MailChimp, you can create a contact customer lead inside of NetSuite automatically. So if you put them in a sync group or list and they're new, we will create them in NetSuite for you automatically. So that really uh, adds value to anyone that's using multiple websites, web forms that are landing in MailChimp and want those people back into NetSuite. So the MailChimp setup screen, pretty, pretty simple, it takes two seconds. You know, put in your API key, name your master list. Uh, you'll have to go create it in MailChimp first, come over here and just cut and paste and put it in there. And then any group title you want to use. If you don't want people coming back into NetSuite, go ahead and check that box for the one-way sync, and then you're all set. So once you click Next, you get to some of the cool add-ons that we have for the MailChimp to NetSuite integration. One is Twilio, which does call tracking. So the exact same way that you uh, flow back marketing metrics from MailChimp, you can flow back call stats from any phone number that you put out on your marketing campaigns in MailChimp. And then, of course, in field mapping, uh, we bring over the basic fields. So again, uh, if you want to see what is brought over, you can scroll over on the sync notes. We describe that. If you need more, just go over to MailChimp, create those merge fields, come back over, refresh uh, the fields here, and then map them. So I'm going to try to find one, uh, let's see, maybe uh, birth date or something like that. So let's see if we can find that uh, CRM we haven't created yet. So I'll just go ahead and, uh, and find birth date here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's data last sale. Yeah, there it is. So let's just test out birthday and we'll go ahead and map those fields. Now what will happen is anytime one of my sales reps or let's say it's a high high uh, you know customer that we want to market to, we can you know tag their birth date or to come over to MailChimp, we can segment that uh, list and go ahead and email market those that are you know in uh, let's say July birthday. Uh, and give them some type of spiff or something like that from our company. So that's really the field mapping section. You can come back to this uh, and uh, with your group and, and kind of decide that. Now on the sync scheduling on the free trial, you don't need it because it's on demand. 
but inside of the pay plans, you can go down to uh, five minutes here um, per profile. And then, of course, set that sync time, which is when the marketing metrics come back. So we've created a sync profile. You can see it's fairly easy to do. Um, and then just go ahead and sync now. So you can, in the free trial, sync this on demand. You can put people in the list that you created in MailChimp. You can send them emails. Those will come back as marketing uh, metrics. The marketing metrics will come back in your NetSuite. You'll see those as custom records. So what will happen is they'll show up on a custom sub-tab on the contact or customer record. And then you'll be able to see that in real time here. Uh, as you can see, I've updated just a couple um, in NetSuite. And of course, they're coming over to my master list inside of uh, MailChimp. So that's pretty much it. And you can see at the very bottom here, if you want to download a report, there's a report at the top that you can download and see, let's say, those that I've opted out. So let's go over to MailChimp. You can see this is my list. This is the list that I'm actually syncing called my master list here. And anytime that I sync that, any new people from NetSuite or net new people from MailChimp will flow back and forth. So any, remember, any changed data on the record in NetSuite will always come over here. So if they update their email address, uh, you want to convert a lead, that happens uh, automatically. or if you want to update uh, any type of information on that record, it'll flow over to MailChimp. So your marketing is always in sync with what sales is updated on the uh, NetSuite side. So if I drill back down into my uh, NetSuite to MailChimp sync app and go ahead and edit that, click Next, you'll kind of see that I can come back. Okay, now I've tested it. works great. I want to add some more safe searches. So I've I've done some dynamic safe searches. This time I want to add a customer and I want to bring that over to MailChimp so I can start to segment, you know, the contacts on customers and also the customers uh, with just one contact. And that's really how safe searches drive your list and groups in MailChimp. So you can see if I scroll down to the master list here and I view my subscribers, I can also just go into uh, I believe that's actually under uh, the other tab here. Just go in and look at the groups uh, that the saved searches in NetSuite are creating automatically every time it syncs uh, inside of MailChimp. So that's really the segmentation factor here. And you can, you know, it's, it's pretty easy to get started. You can go ahead and come back and uh, do some more safe searches. If you need support, I want to see what you know, probably 5% of our customer base uh, over here is pretty active. Uh, so you can see there's, you know, almost 800 people on here that post and are, you have access to product managers, myself, and also if you want to go over to MailChimp and do some searches over there and see how it works if you're new to MailChimp or you just want more information on it. So it's an easy way to get started between integration between MailChimp and NetSuite and you'll get started with marketing automation in about five minutes. So go ahead and try it. Let us know what you think. And if you're new to MailChimp, it's one of the best ones out there that we see uh, for building email campaigns. Thank you.